Forget what you once thought you knew about electric cars. We are about to reveal something truly groundbreaking. This isn't just another EV rolling out of a factory. This is America's first self-powered African electric vehicle, and it comes from the vision of a young Zimbabwean inventor named Maxwell Chikumbuzo. The instant you see this machine, you'll realize the game has shifted. Picture a car that never needs to be plugged in. No charging stations, no hours wasted waiting for power, no fear of running out of battery on a road trip. What if your car could fuel itself endlessly? That is the exact promise of this creation. And today, for the very first time, we are revealing it here in America. The container arrives like something out of a science fiction movie. It's huge, reinforced, and covered with warning labels from top to bottom. Excitement fills the air as the team gathers around, cameras rolling, eager to capture history. As bolts come off and panels are pulled away, the first sight of the EV sends chills across the room. Sleek, futuristic, and proudly African in its design influence. The smooth curves look modern, but the details, the patterns etched into the body and the accents inspired by Zimbabwean art make it stand apart from anything else in the car world. The first reaction is disbelief. Could this really be self-powered? Doubt and excitement swirl together. Whispers echo across the room. How does it function? Where is the battery? Is there even a charging port? When the hood is lifted, what's revealed is unlike a Tesla, unlike a Nissan Leaf, unlike any EV we've seen before. Instead of a standard lithium-ion battery, there's a compact unit glowing softly, shielded with metallic housing, pulsing with a faint hum. This is the heart of Maxwell's invention. Built on the idea of radio frequency energy conversion, the system captures invisible RF waves all around us, directs them through custom converters, and turns them into usable electricity. In simpler words, it charges itself from the energy floating in the air. No grid, no gasoline, no solar panels, just harvesting a form of energy that has existed for decades but has been overlooked. The brilliance lies not only in the concept, but in how it's been applied. Maxwell and his team found a way to make the technology small, efficient, and practical for vehicles. The car keeps topping itself up as it drives. Whether you're in busy city streets, highways, or remote areas, the system never stops working. Regenerative braking adds yet another layer of efficiency. Each time you slow down, energy is recaptured, recycled, and stored. The result is a car that promises nearly unlimited range. Inside, the experience is just as astonishing. The cabin feels like stepping into tomorrow. Minimalist yet functional, it mixes futuristic technology with comfort. Every surface is designed with sustainability in mind. The dashboard is fully digital, with a holographic display that hovers above the console. The seats are made from eco-friendly materials sourced locally in Africa. Smart features are built in from the start. Voice recognition is flawless. Navigation runs on artificial intelligence, and even the entertainment system is designed to be energy efficient, powered directly from the RF-based grid inside the car. There's no concern about draining the reserves. With music or climate control because the system refreshes itself endlessly. Then comes the long-awaited moment, the demonstration. The key fob looks sleek, futuristic, and surprisingly light. The car powers on with a soft chime that almost feels alive. The dashboard illuminates, systems come online, yet there's no engine noise, no strain, just silent readiness. The vehicle glides forward effortlessly. Acceleration is quick and smooth, easily matching the best EVs on the market today. It takes sharp corners with precision, handles bumps gracefully, and all the while the system continues pulling energy from the environment, invisible to the human eye. Onlookers are stunned. Whispers turn into gasps. Doubters go quiet. The promise is real. But beyond the stunning design and exciting test drive lies something bigger, the story of African creativity. Maxwell Chikumbuzo is no stranger to bold ideas. 
Growing up in Zimbabwe, he began inventing as a teenager, experimenting with radios and working with alternative energy sources. Without formal engineering education, he beat the odds, creating prototypes of self-powered machines that surprised experts. From helicopters to buses, from home generators to tractors, he has always pushed the edge of what's possible. And now his dream has taken shape in this self-powered electric car. The context makes it even more meaningful. Africa faces unique struggles, limited infrastructure, vast rural regions, and unreliable energy access. Traditional EVs that depend on charging stations don't fit well, so instead of waiting for infrastructure to develop, Maxwell built a car that doesn't rely on it at all. A vehicle for Africa, created by Africans, but now revealed in America as proof of possibility. This isn't just engineering, it's vision fueled by necessity. It's innovation born out of challenge and strengthened by resilience. The timing couldn't be clearer. The world is rushing to adopt sustainable transportation. But most solutions focus on wealthy countries with established infrastructure. Africa shows a different path. Why not leapfrog past the limits of charging stations entirely? Why not build a car that fuels itself forever and is accessible to anyone, anywhere? That is the philosophy behind this invention and its debut in America Sparks Questions Far Beyond a Simple Reveal. What does this mean for Tesla, GM, Volkswagen, and the rest of the global auto industry? If a young creator from Zimbabwe can deliver a self-powered car, how will the giants respond? Will they support the tech, try to bury it, or change their strategies entirely? The stakes are huge. If scaled up, this could disrupt industries worth trillions overnight. No more oil dependency. No more expensive charging networks. No more range anxiety slowing down EV adoption. Nations could leap into an era of true clean mobility without laying a single charging cable. And it's not just about cars. Imagine buses, trucks, planes, ships, homes, factories, all powered by the same principle. It could transform every aspect of human life. Energy freedom on a worldwide scale. Of course, challenges remain. Some doubt the scalability of RF technology. Others ask whether it can be mass-produced affordably. Safety, regulations, and durability all raise questions. But every major invention in history faced the same. Steam engines were mocked, airplanes ridiculed, early EVs dismissed. And yet, here we are, unveiling a car that could once again change the rules. The future is never built by doubters. It's built by dreamers. And Maxwell Chikumbuzo is one of them. As the reveal concludes, the room is buzzing with energy. The team stares in awe at what they've just seen. This isn't just another car. It's a statement that innovation has no borders, that the next big leap may not come from Silicon Valley but from Harare, and that the future of travel may already be here. So now we ask you, the viewers, what do you think of Africa's first self-powered EV? Is this the breakthrough the planet has been waiting for, or does it sound too good to be true? Share your thoughts in the comments. Join the conversation. Because history isn't only something we watch. It's something we create. This is not the end of the story. It's just the beginning. Subscribe for more updates as we track this car's journey. Share this with anyone who doubts where the future is heading. And remember, the most powerful breakthroughs often come from unexpected places. They come from those willing to dream without limits. And today, that dream has arrived as America's first self-powered African EV. The car rolls out of the warehouse into the sunlight. Its metallic surface shines as if alive, reflecting both the sky and the future it represents. A crowd gathers, phones raised, recording every moment. There's a feeling that they're not just watching a product launch, but the birth of a new era. The driver accelerates onto the road, and the silence is striking. No engine roar, no hum of charging coils, just smooth motion powered by invisible energy. The car glides without effort, but the true test is endurance. Most EVs claim 300 or 400 miles on a good day. This car has no such limits. 
As the miles increase, the reserves don't fall. The car restores itself nonstop, pulling from the waves that fill the air. It feels like watching perpetual motion. Critics will say perpetual motion is impossible, and technically they're correct. But this isn't magic. It's advanced science. The RF system doesn't invent energy out of nothing. It captures energy that's already present but ignored. Radio signals, TV broadcasts, cellular networks, Wi-Fi, even cosmic background radiation. All of it is energy moving through space. Maxwell's system simply collects what has always been there, what the world has wasted for decades. That is the true brilliance, turning the overlooked into motion. Imagine highways packed with cars that never stop to charge. Imagine rural families driving across endless plains without worrying about power access. Imagine nations breaking free from oil overnight. The possibilities are massive. And more striking when you remember this didn't come from a billion-dollar company or government-backed project. It came from a single visionary and a small team in Zimbabwe. Now, the world cannot ignore them. Already whispers are spreading. Rumors of automakers sending experts to study the car, investors preparing billions to scale it, officials racing to understand its policy impacts. If this spreads, entire industries could be shaken, oil-rich economies could collapse, utilities could face 